Corbet Graphic Design. At Corbet Graphic Design, the value to the customer is number one in considering the project. Uh, Corbet Graphic Design with Norman Corbet at the helm has been uh, really helping me with my website, VideoGamersOasis.com, stripping it down the old, building up the new, and turning it into a very professional looking website. I highly recommend if you need high quality graphic design and website design, CorbetGraphicDesign.ca. This has been a paid 30 second video ad for one of my patrons. If you would like a 30 second video ad at the beginning, middle or end of my new videos, become a $25 patron at www.patreon.com forward slash video gamers oasis play theater. <clears throat> Welcome back uh, gamers to Ben Jordan Paranormal Investigator, case number seven. The Cardinal Sins. You're watching Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater. Thanks for tuning in. Let's continue our adventure with Ben Jordan as he investigates uh, a mysterious murder in Rome, Italy. Alice in the Hotel. All right, so we have, we have not only Simon, but we also have Alice in our hotel room. And we're going to do some more investigating with the help of Simon and Alice. So, see if we can ask some questions of, of Simon first. Got a minute, Simon? Certainly. Uh, research. Do you think you could look something up for me? Sure, what do you need? I don't need to research anything else. <clears throat> no, we don't need any advice, uh, research, but we could get some advice. Got any ideas of what I should do next? Not really. You seem to be doing fine on your own. Okay, that's all. That's all for now. Right. Let's talk to uh, let's talk to Alice. Maybe she can help us out. Help Ben out. That's a nice sweater you're wearing. What? This old thing? I've had it forever. It brings out your eyes, I think. That's really sweet, sweet of you to talking. say. All right, let's uh, ask some questions. Hey, Alice, can we talk? <clears throat> sure, what is it? Uh, family history. You mentioned on the phone that you'd learned something about your family's history. Yes, I asked my older brothers and did a little research. Hmm. It turns out that my family is originally from Smailholm. Really? Scotland? Uh-huh. Wow. The man you dreamed about, Marcus Wilkins, he was my great-great-great-grandfather. That's a lot of greats. Amazing. Well, he lived over 200 years ago. Wow, Marcus Wilkins, who was this guy? So what else did you learn about Marcus Wilkins? He went to Philadelphia in 1804 to infiltrate that witch cult you told me about. Hmm. At the time, he had just married my great-great-great-grandmother, Alice McBain. No kidding. So she was the original Alice Wilkins? Yeah, apparently she was also Smailholm's oldest living resident. She lived to be 115. That's right! I saw her grave at the cemetery! I really want to go to Smailholm now. From what you've told me, it sounds like an interesting place. I'm not entirely sure I'm ready to go back there just yet. But maybe someday. Any advice? You got any ideas of what I should do next? I think you should probably go update Mr. Renzi on your investigation. I know I'd want to know as much as possible if I were in his shoes. Probably good uh, advice. Any advice? You got any ideas of what I should do next? I think you should probably go update Mr. Renzi on your investigation. I know I'd want to know as much as possible if I were in his shoes. Yeah, we're probably going to talk to Renzi. So, what do you think of Rome? I haven't really had much of a chance to see anything yet. I'm hoping we'll have some time after the case to do some sightseeing. I'm sure we will. That's all. Better get back to it. Okay. Alright, save our progress. Alice in the hotel. Can we give her a little bit of a hug? Finally touching people is not the best idea. Okay, let's be on our way. Bye guys, I'll be back later. Bye. Bye. Alright, let's go to uh, the police station. There's the police office, the police uh, desk sergeant. Hello again. Hmm? Oh, yes, what can I do for you? Thanks for your help. Not a problem. Uh, 
All right, let's go back to um, Renzi and the number three cell block. What's the... Oh no! Oh, what the hell just happened? Oh my God, he's been hung, hanged. Renzi has hang hung himself in his cell. You get a sick feeling in the pit of your stomach seeing him like this. There's nothing you can do for that that will help Renzi now. This is not good. Renzi is dead. Talk to him. Hello again. Hmm? Oh, yes. What can I do for you? Uh, Renzi's death? Sir, I, I have some bad news. What is it? Renzi is dead. I just found him. He hung himself. My god. I suppose he could not take the guilt. Perhaps his visitors made him realize there was no hope for him. Excuse me a moment, won't you? Marco? Renzi si è suicidato. Per favore porta il suo corpo all'obitorio. Grazie. Visitors. Did you say Renzi had visitors? Yes. Mm. Early who were they? this morning. Oh yeah? There was a priest who was sent from the Vatican. Ah, to priest. Is that common? Sometimes priests are sent to comfort prisoners, yes. But from the Vatican? That seems like it would only be reserved for important business. I assume a murdered priest is important enough for the Vatican, Signore. Thanks for your help. Not a problem. Okay. Any other questions? Hello again. Hmm? Oh, yes. What can I do for you? Thanks for your help. Not a problem. The problem. Any else to can say? It's looking like in the mood for idle conversation. This is quite a development. Let's go back outside. 